we're going to cover a few more measures of fertility. Probably the most important measure of fertility is the total fertility rate. What this rate does is compile age-specific birth rates in a way that then shows the average number of children born per woman in her lifetime if current age-specific birth rates hold. Now that last thing's a big caveat. We know that fertility can change over time, and as a result, the total fertility rate for a, a woman of a certain cohort uh, may actually vary from year to year. And that's because total fertility rate is a period measure. It looks at just one period of time rather than the actual experiences of a woman's lifetime. That said, it's still a great measure because it summarizes the current fertility behavior of a population quite well. If the TFR for one country is 3 and for another is 1.4, or if the TFR drops in one country from 6 to 2.5 over 30 years, you can still make reasonable comparisons between them. Another advantage of the measure is that it's easy to wrap your head around what it means since the unit is children per woman. To calculate the TFR, you start with the same data you'd use for age-specific fertility rates. So that's birth by age category of mother and the female population in the reproductive ages. So I'm going to start by dividing births by the population of women in that age category. I am not, however, multiplying it by a constant. There's no need for that. I'm going to copy and paste, paste, there we go, and then I'm going to sum this up. So that equals sum, open parenthesis, highlight all of those cells, close parenthesis, and hit enter. I get 0.2752. Now that is essentially the total number of women I mean, total number of births per woman in one year of this age category, in one year of that age category, because this is just a point in time. Uh, so what we need to do, because these are five-year age categories, is we need to multiply this result by five. If these were one-year age categories, we wouldn't need to do that. If these were ten-year age categories, then we'd have to multiply by ten. So I'm just going to come here and go equal, click in that cell, and then do times five, enter we get 1.376. Reduce my decimal levels and get 1.38. So, based on the age-specific fertility rates in the year 2010, the average number of children born per woman in her lifespan, her reproductive lifespan, would be 1.38 children. This is a very low total fertility rate. We can repeat this process for a couple of other data sets, and I'm going to show you an Excel trick. Copying and pasting works from table to table, as long as each table is set up the same way. So I'm going to copy this entire column, Control-C or Command-C on a Mac, come over here to US, highlight that column again, hit Paste, and bingo! There's my total fertility rate for the United States, 2.01 children per woman in her lifetime based on current age-specific rates. Now I'm going to come over here to my table for Uganda, do the same thing. 6.31. Now these were calculation tables, that is, that is, I needed this data to uh, do calculations. This is not very pretty right now. I would actually do a, a great deal of formatting in order to get this to look right. We don't need these calculations really, we just need that final number, so on and so forth. Um, but there we go, total fertility rate.